All right, guys, it's finally time to get that damn pliers because I haven't gotten it and I need to fix my car. I need to fix the damn thing. It's been sitting. Man, the coolant hose has been this whole time, so. Finally go, gonna go grab it. I don't have a daily, because that's my daily. But I guess we'll just have to, what the fuck? Get the fuck out of here. Oops, this is why we have this. This is the backup daily. Time to have all my neighbors hate me. I'm sorry to the, the girls enjoying your, I'm sorry to the girls enjoying the birthday over there. But you know, I gotta start my car. All right guys, what's up? I'm on my way to O'Reilly's right now. I gotta pick up the pliers. Uh, but I just wanna say that the single turbo setup, like it's happening. I have most of the parts, but it's a slow process, right? Like I got all these parts online and I'm like, right now the injectors are getting flow tested. So hopefully they'll come back. Hopefully they'll come back um, working or like, you know, they still flow because I ideally want to use those ones even if they're like not great injectors um, and I don't have to buy brand new ones but like this is gonna be like a budget single turbo build a lot of people think like you know I don't know when they think of like turbo RX-7s they think of like Rob Dom or like I don't know there's a lot of other youtubers that picked it like TJ Hunt but mine this is just like a normal this is like a normal ass budget build <laughs> like it's nothing super crazy. It's just like an upgrade from what I have right now But it's not like I'm going to like 800 wheel horsepower and a lot of people It's I think that's a big misconception for people is that like it that costs a lot of money um, I just I'm just a normal last person uh, That's work normal blue-collar jobs. I'm trying to find a full-time job this summer as well as uh, after I graduate this fall but you know, as of right now, I'm currently unemployed. I'm just like surviving off of the money that I made, like from my job that I worked like last year for like seven months, right? So yeah, it's it's like it's a slow it's a slow process, and obviously, like after I'm done with this quarter, which will be like in a week or two, I'm gonna hopefully find a job or like a part-time job, which can help pay for these parts. But like I said once again. All of, like, nothing here is sponsored. Like, a lot of those big YouTubers get a lot of their parts sponsored. I'm not a big YouTuber. I, all this, all this money, all these parts come out of my own pocket. So that, that's part of the reason why I was thinking about starting a merch, a merch thing, because it would really, really help towards the builds of the, you know, for the channel and for, for, for myself. You know, for one, it would be a great thing to have money for a build. Um, but also I'd be putting out content for, for you guys. Um, obviously it costs money to also start that merch and uh, order all the merch. So yeah, I'm just trying to get things together, but it's a slow, it's a slow process, but hopefully after I uh, finish up school this quarter, I can uh, get things back on track and find a job and you know finish the build basically. but. You know, it's a, it's a slow process. I'm selling old parts as well to try to help pay for the builds, but at the end of the day, like, this stuff is not cheap. Like, you know, boot, like, just the tune alone is like a grand for, a, like, around a grand, like, $800 a grand just for the tune. ECU is around $1,500. Like, all these things that I have to, like, buy that I have, like, and you guys may think, oh, I want you to know, like, I want to get good quality like a good quality ECU and tune because those are arguably one of the most like two of the most important things when you're building for power or for boost or whatever you know you want to go with good uh, you want to have a good fueling system you want to have a good tune you want to have a good ECU all of those things will help prolong just, and prevent any issues really currently in O'Reilly's but yeah like I was saying all this stuff comes out of my own pocket so gotta go find some players now Tools, tools. Damn, bro, these lug nuts, bro. Uh, bro, they gotta be. They gotta be over here somewhere. I know they're here. I know they're ascot pliers. Ooh, what? No, no. We 
Wait, what? Huh? Why are why are pliers so expensive, bro? What? I'm gonna go ask if I can borrow some, bro. Hold on. Okay. Hey, do you guys like rent out pliers? <laughs> what chance? Pliers? Just pliers? Yeah, just pliers. I gotta take off a. I mean, my car's not here, but I gotta take off a coolant hose. Oh. If, if 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 you don't like, I can just buy. I can buy it. There's no. Is there one out there? No, there is. I, I'll just buy it. It's cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you guys have any like cheaper pliers? Like, I mean, it is cool. It's, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah, they're all like ten. It's cool, man. All right. Yeah, they're like twelve bucks. These are so nice. I feel like I don't. Whatever. I mean, I need it. So. Back again, but this time we got pliers, and these are ten dollar. Uh, these are eleven dollar pliers, twelve dollar pliers. So I expect no less from them. I just got the hose off, but uh, I think uh, I think some coolant spilled a little bit. Just, <laughs> just, uh, just a little bit of coolant. Uh, I don't know if this is illegal, but uh, I don't really like. What are you supposed to? I don't understand what you're supposed to do when all the coolant leaks out. Like there's literally like, what are you supposed to do, like catch it? Right, so as you guys see, I use this 50-50 coolant. Uh, it's already diluted, so I don't need to add any water. It's already mixed. I filled it up to the top, and now I have to start the car. I have to crank it. No, I don't have to crank it. No, I do have to crank it. I have to crank the car and turn the heat on high until I feel the heat. And that's how I know that the coolant system completely bled. All right, do that, and then you turn the heat on high. Ah! Wait, I can't see, hold on. Here you go. Turn the heat, turn the heat all the way up, like so. Oh, oh. that the baby? No, it's a little baby, okay. Do that. And Ethan said, just let it sit, let it sit until, yeah, this shit's gonna bubble, so. Uh, Ethan said give it a couple of revs too, so you know, I gotta do what the man says. Oh, I have not. <laughs> Dude, I haven't driven this in so long, I can't wait to. What is that? <sighs> Oh, the little weather strips messed up, man. Oh, this whole weather strip's messed up. Damn, I'm gonna have, have to replace that. It's still pressurizing, I think. I, I don't actually know, but you know, I'm just I'm just talking like I know. This is my first time bleeding a coolant system. There's also, I've worked on my cars before, like I said. This is just the first time I've ever had like a uh, coolant hose blow. Everything else has been like oil and stuff, but I've never had my coolant system blow, never. Oh, I had an overflow tank bust once. But that was still overfloating. Hey guys, so uh, it's blowing a ton of hot air right now. Yeah, it's blowing a ton of hot air, which means I think we're good. So I'm gonna shut the car off actually. All right, turn the headlights off. But yeah, uh, I think the coolant system's bled, so should be good. Now there's only one thing left to do. We gotta go uh, test it out and make sure it uh, make sure it works. Whew. Finally back in the Integra, holy cow, it's been so long. I can finally turn on this damn heat. It's been so long since I've driven this thing. I'm so excited to rip it. Oh my God, it feels so good. Okay, let's see. I forgot if this what this thing felt like. <laughs> Whoa. Oh wow, oh my gosh, it like shifts correctly and everything. It's weird going from the FD to here because everything in here works. Yeah, you know like when you go from like your jank car to like your like more well put together car? Oh yeah! Oh, I'm remembering now! <laughs> oh my... Is that a cop? Who cares? Nah, actually I kind of care. Oh my god, dude, this thing was fast. I forgot how fast it was. This, this is pretty good. It's 
like driving a brand new car again. Oh, wait, what happened to my gas? Oh, it's just a half a tank. Y'all see, after that one pull, I'm at three, I'm at a quarter tank. I don't remember that part of the car. I don't, I don't remember that. <laughs> uh, well, anyways, it's not overheating. So, which means we bled the coolant and let's see if the heater works. I'm just gonna turn that on. Oh, that's hot. Oh my God. Dude, that is so hot. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so the heater works. Jesus, it's like burning. VTEC. Whoa! Sounds pretty good. Forgot how it sounded. It's been so long since I've driven this. There's no way, man. Oh, dude, he got, he got gap, bro. It's because I got the coolant fixed. Oh, that's awkward. Now I gotta look at these people at the, at the light. It's gonna be so awkward. Uh, once I can get AC in this thing, it's gonna be awesome. This guy taking me to Gapplebee's? Hold on, what's going on? Anyways, feels great. I really love the car. I love driving this thing again, man. Even though it burns some oil, who cares? I don't care. It feels great. It shifts great. Uh, I'll probably get it aligned sometime this week. Uh, but until until then, I'll, I'm gonna end the video here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Can you take a four or five to the pelvis? Plenty money going around, I'm not selfish. And the ladies love me, Elvis. Smoky guys living fast wearing velvet. Can you take a four or five to the